Uh, my name is Jan Snyder, um, Assistant Chief of the City of Santa Fe Fire Department. Uh, the City of Santa Fe uh, built our Type 3 engine on a Freightliner chassis, um, basically on recommendations for our, our fleet and our maintenance personnel, uh, just the preferring the Freightliner chassis. Um, we did it on a Freightliner 108. Uh, the 108 gives us the ability to have a larger tank capacity and hauling capacity. 106 wood, so it was some of the features we did there. Also, the 108 kind of gave us the ability to do an extended bumper with some front hose lay stuff and uh, have a greater capacity um, load bearing on, on front of the vehicle. Um, the four-door obviously was a benefit for us. Uh, the cab will be utilized by our Wildland Division full-time and uh, they, they do run 8, 10, 20 at a time. Um, the truck is also designed not only to protect the city of Santa Fe and its Wildland Urban Interface environment, but be deployed um, out of state to California, Idaho, Colorado, uh, and Wyoming. Um, so now we can actually you know, outfit the truck with four, four firefighters and a chase vehicle um, and deploy out of state. Um, some of the features inside the cab are, are, are pretty standard for a commercial chassis fire truck. Um, obviously, four, seating for four, um, the four headsets um, for all the fire personnel. Some of the kind of neat features we did kind of incorporate into the truck since it will be uh, available for deployment out of state and out of the town. Um, some of the time is an electronic cooler uh, in the back seat between the two uh, front facing seats. Kind of gives the, the crew the ability to have either food or, or beverages um, all the time in an electric cooler, not having to worry about ice and kind of restocking that as, as they do road trips to California or Idaho, wherever they're going out of state. Um, also with some other amenities, you know, just like cup holders in the back, um, standard plugins and uh, plugins for cell phones in the back for all the crew members um, as they travel over the, uh, um, uh, over the road. Um, and then the front of the, front of the cab is, is pretty standard. Uh, the only thing we really have going on that, that's maybe different than some departments is that we are running two, two different radio systems uh, in the city of Santa Fe full time. We run an 800 megahertz radio system. Um, so the truck has that as well as a Bendix King programmable VHF. So when they go into a wildland urban interface fire or an environment somewhere else. Um, the truck also has a capa capacity to have an, it does have an auxiliary pump. Um, so from inside the cab, the driver or the officer can engage the auxiliary pump and kind of go into a pump and roll operation without getting outside of the apparatus. So it was one of the features we really were looking forward to, but not only having a, uh, a larger 500 gallon a minute pump, but the ability to pump and roll um, in, in, in you know, grass type fire situations or other fire situations. Moving around to the outside of engine 39, uh, we did when we did go with a two-stage uh, 500 gallon a minute pump uh, on this apparatus. Uh, kind of the reasoning for that for us was to have the ability to switch from uh, either volume or pressure depending on the operation that day, um, as well as the integration of their auxiliary pump, which is located on top of the vehicle. Like I spoke about when we were inside, it really kind of gives us the capability to be either a static truck in a static firefighting operation or in a pump and roll operation. Um, nothing really super fancy about any of these components. We just kind of brought all the best together in what we thought would be a really good kind of um, configuration for our needs, uh, whether it's in the Santa Fe or out of state on a deployment. For Engine 39's uh, body configuration, uh, we took some ideas off of trucks that were recently de uh, delivered to Dallas and California by SVI and kind of looked at what they were doing and kind of modeled them kind of back to what we really thought would work best for us operationally. Um, we did uh, tool trades sliding tool trays on, on, on the street side of the truck and that can be configured any way the division uh, like, would like to have it, um, as well as pretty standard adjustable shelving inside. Now the street side and the curb side of the vehicle are, are slightly different uh, due to a ladder storage on the curb side um, and the, the, the side uh, compartments aren't as deep and we've added a pack track system to the back wall to give us the ability to mount hardware or tools or appliances, kind of anything we want to do. But all the compartments have an adjustable track system for the shelving. Lots of space, not only for day-to-day um, -day operations in the city of Santa Fe, but when they do start deploying out of state, that we have the ability to carry extra uh, gear on the sides and on the top of the apparatus. As we swing around the rear of the engine, uh, pretty standard for most either firefighter engines or type threes. Um, some of the neat components we did do was not only do we have a transverse uh, hose reel uh, midship just above the pump panel, but we added another hose reel to the rear of the apparatus. And not only did we add the hose reel to the rear of the apparatus, we had it so it could actually become functional with the compartment doors closed. So as we're running our auxiliary pump, we can actually have firefighters on the back of the apparatus running in the pump and roll kind of formation with a hose reel without having the compartment doors opened. So it's totally secure 
and the, the hose comes out, and it's really kind of a neat, for us, uh, a neat way for us to kind of incorporate kind of both applications. Uh, the, the truck does come with three-section extension ladder. When they do get into an urban interface type situation and have to ladder a roof or pull some ceiling, um, they have the ability to do so. The top of the area, kind of a, a standard hose configuration for most fire apparatus, just with a lot of extra done areas for equipment like tents or bed bags, uh, sleeping bag type components when they do go out of, uh, out of state or on extended uh, deployments within the state. Uh, on the curbside of Engine 39, uh, again, almost duplicates the same as the street side. One thing I did mention when we were on this other side real quick is that we did add the pack track system to the upper components of both uh, curbside compartments, um, really kind of given the ability to you know, specialize uh, tool placement and appliance placement, uh, super secure system. We don't need to drill holes into the, the side of the body of the apparatus and you know, hit the tank or puncture the tank. Um, we really love it and we're really going to incorporate it in the rest of the vehicles we purchase.